being a good operator is an incredible skill set. But at the time, I was like, I'm not one of these visionary idea people. I'm not creative. And in fact, I started working with a coach who had come really highly recommended to me. He gave me this assignment to go for a walk and don't take your phone, don't listen to music, no headphones, take a notebook, take a pen, try to listen to whatever inner voice is happening and, and what that voice is telling you. I would say a lot of my life has been trying things that look good on the surface, make me feel good about myself. And if I enjoy it, I keep doing more of it. And if I don't enjoy it, I have a very low tolerance for continuing to do things that I don't enjoy. I'm trying to spend as much of my time as possible strictly doing things that I enjoy doing. You know, being a creator, entrepreneurship, that's one of the few ways I think that you can make that a reality. I've developed a lot of self-awareness over the years. And if I look back patternistically at my behavior and growth at different stages, it really goes back to high school when I wanted to be really good at sports. I just wasn't as good, but I was really good at academics. It wasn't that hard, but being really good at academics earned me some level of respect that felt good. 